Hey everyone, welcome back to The Skies of Bentley, Season 3, Episode Number 11. And since I last left off, I've got the uh, whole cobbled gen works kind of pretty much set up the way I want for now. Um, it's, it's definitely doing its job. I've already sieved through a fair bit of gravel and dust and haven't touched the sand at all. I mean, it's doing amazing um, but I do want to bump this up a little bit more so let me go ahead and run through real quick on how I have this set up for you guys um, currently we have the cobblestone generator tier 2 uh, may not even have to be a tier 2 it could probably be alright with just uh, tier 1 until we upgrade these machines um, but we have it set up to where it's feeding in automatically from here all of these up here on the top are exporting on the green channel all going down here and they're all going to be set up down in these drawers and then from here actually let me go ahead and come back here also the second tier or the uh, second second tier um, cobblestone generator is hooked up to this one so these two are both producing gravel and both of those are feeding into this drawer slot here those are then sent out on the blue channel to these two sag mills where they are both Grinding down the gravel into sand and flint. All the flint makes its way into here and it is exported automatically on a purple channel. This purple channel is set to round robin enabled so that way every sag mill is getting um, plenty of flint because the flint is helpful in the sag mills. It increases the output by 120%, output bonus by 125%, and a power reduction 15%. So we're saving 60% power by using uh, flint up here. So 15 times 4 is 60%. So, um, yeah. Anyways, all the dust, or not all the dust, but all the sand is then exported on the brown channel, being sent into the crusher, and then exported on the green channel to the dust. So this is basically making our dust. Now I do want to make this a lot better because we do need a lot of dust because of redstone purposes. But before we start working towards that, I want to do something I haven't done yet. <laughs> this is another thing that's going to hopefully help us achieve more goodness. And that is nine of these diamond stiffened meshes. I got enough diamonds to make nine of them. And we're going to go ahead and get these sieves up and running. We already got two. We're going to want a few more. Bloop. There we go. Nine sieves. Here we go. Um, Where do I want to set these guys up at? Maybe we'll go off this way. There we go. All right. Let's grab us a few resources here. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Cobblestone. Hi. How you doing? Missed you. Not really. So we're going to do a little 3x3 three three right across here. How did we do this? This is like 1, 2, 3. So basically, bloop. And then we started that one. So this one's going to go out kind of like a 5x5. Five five. Something just about like that. There we go. And then I'm guessing, yeah, I think that'll be fine. We'll just go ahead and put the uh, the wall around this. Eventually, we'll, you know, we get enough resources. Might we end up making this bigger. Don't know yet. Haven't got that far. We're gonna see what we can do with what we got first. There we go. And then you, you, you. All right, we're not gonna you all nine of you. So first three of you are special. There we go. Look at that beautiful blue mesh. I love it so much. I like that. I like that a lot. Now, if we take a look at our dust, let's just pop one of these guys out just for a moment. Push you on top of him. Click over to the sieve. If we go to the diamond stiffen mesh, we can see that we have a chance of getting gold. A better chance of getting redstone, glowstone, gunpowder, and blaze powder as to opposed on the iron stiffen mesh. Um, looks like we don't get all of the things that we would get from the iron stiffen mesh on dust, but we have a lot better chance of getting redstone. So 10% there, 5% there. So a lot better, a lot better. So let's give it a whirl. Grab us a stack of dust. Let's see how well the diamond stiffen mesh treats us. Hopefully good. 
hopefully very good. If not, I I have some ideas. And I will see if I can get them to uh, do what I want. Because last episode, we did a little bit of work with uh, meshes, and we enchanted them, and I have to say, two out of a stack. Are you oh, hi. Five. Well, that's not too bad. Uh, but yeah, we enchanted some of these last episode, and I can't say that was the best decision I've made, but I've never done it, so I had to try it. So we're up to five more redstone. Let's go ahead and take a look at some stuff. Now, out here at the mob farm, our experience drum is slowly but surely filling itself. 46,000 XP, and we are doing great on mobs, currently. Uh, if we take a look, ooh, instone and a manual mill. Instone, huh? Thank you. I've actually been looking for that a little bit. Um, so yeah, yeah, looking pretty good. Got a lot of random loot here. Got another gold chest set up here on a brown input, so that way it's uh, extracted from our bag opener there. Everything else is pretty much looking good. I don't have a chest set up for min, or not Minecio, Infernium. Um, I need to set it up for the Infernium as well, but it should be okay for the time being. So let's make our way back, sleep through the night quickly, quick power rest, and what we're going to do is we're going to craft ourselves a new item. We're actually going to go through, actually, hold on, before we go through doing that, let us improve this setup a little bit. I went ahead and gone through making Energetic Alloy. This takes a little bit to make when you don't have an upgrade in your machine. So I went ahead and did this already. I'll show you guys the recipe. Glowstone, gold, and redstone. So it did hurt a little bit because of the redstone needing that. But this is going to be good for us. We're going to use this to craft us some upgrades. So I went ahead and took some coal, tossed it into the sag mill. Got some coal powder out of that. We're going to grab some capacitors now. There we go. We're going to grab eight those guys perfect number thankfully we had enough redstone for that and we're gonna craft double layer capacitors so we need the coal powder energetic alloys and capacitors on the side this will be able to craft us four of them with everything that we have made energetic alloys and all and we're gonna toss these right into these machines right here you can already tell how much Faster, they are already going. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, this guy is still going to be a little slow, making us our dust, but I think we'll be all right. Now, the only other thing I'm kind of worried about is power production. Because now, these things are using 60 RF a tick, as to opposed to 20 RF a tick. But, they are indeed a lot faster now, which is not a bad thing at all. So, let's go ahead and take a look down at our power situation. Um, probably, ooh, oh, 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 Well, we'll see. We'll see how that works. So, 60 times 4 is 240 RF a tick, plus this little guy here, which I'm thinking is 20 or 40. So, we're kind of pushing around 300 RF a tick currently. I mean, we kind of might need to get some more magmatic <laughs> engines up and running, but, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and let this run for now. See how well this works. Holy cow, man. Look at all that sand. All right, let's go ahead and work on stage two of this whole process. We're going to grab some gold and some soul sand. We're going to toss all of this into 12 and a little bit of this. Now, you only need uh, one and one for each, so we'll do that just to make it look pretty and even. We need it on alloys mode only. This is going to make us solium. And we're going to need that for what we're going to want to work on here in just a minute. We may also need some more energetic alloy. But what we are working towards is an obelisk. An experience obelisk at that. So we're going to need another machine chassis. Let's craft that really quick like. Bloop, bloop. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. All right, there we go. Make that even so we don't run into a problem, hopefully, later on. All right. Basic capacitor. I know for a fact we're running low on the redstones. Hopefully, we'll get that fixed soon enough. All right. So, yeah, we need one more energetic alloy for our obelisk. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I probably had a couple comments uh, mentioning using this before. So, I, I am just now getting to it, but no worries. 
going through the motions, as they say. Now, I would love to have access to this guy, so let's go ahead and pull this out. We're going to let this do its thing. And in the meantime, I think we need two more of these solariums. I think so. Um, let's go ahead and start working on trying to get the experience out of our drum. Something I do believe we are going to want to do, because we want to put it inside of the obelisk. So if we grab ourselves a fluid conduit, one of these guys here. Is that just regular glass? Does it, does it have to be quite clear? Can it be unquite clear? I hope it can. I hope. All right, we'll grab this. This should cook up really fast. Should cook up really fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Don't do that. Bad. All right, you and you can get back in there. And finish cooking us up on that. Seriously? You have to be quite clear? Can you not be quite clear? Thankfully, we can fix that problem relatively easily. There we go. Fluid conduit. And then we're going to grab the uh, tank that we had earlier, the Singularity tank, and our XP tap. We're going to just pull all of it out of the drum, placing it in there, and automatically putting into our player. So let's come over here. I'm going to try something first. I want to see if this will work. Eh, worth a shot. Right? I like to think so. All right, let's drain this bad boy. We're going to put him up here. Fluid conduit like a soul. We're going to set it to extract, always active. As you can see, we are now slowly filling up with XP. Now, this might take a little bit, but if we open up our drain here. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a work in there. That's a work in progress. All right, let's go ahead and let this this guy do his filling for the time being. And we'll make our way back over. We should have enough solium now to complete what we need. We are running out of power. I can already tell and hear it. All right, obelisk. Obelisk! All right, experience rod achieved. And then from there, we have ourselves an experience obelisk. Dun, 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 dun! Awesomeness has begun. Look at this, man. Look at that power drain. Losing all the power here. Yeah, we're going to figure that out. We're going to have to get something going on that. All right, so this looks like it is full already. Holy cow. So let's place down this experience obelisk here. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, hold on a minute. Hi. Hi. You're working beautifully. All right. Well, let's say this is F3. This is currently south. So if we right-click on this, on the south side, we want to set this to fluid. So that will automatically export into our obelisk there. Is it? Huh. It's not even going into my player. It's being automatically picked up by the hopper, if I'm not mistaken. Or possibly even the experience obelisk is automatically picking it up. Oh, well, that's just awesome. Mm, drum's empty. Cool. Let's fin let it finish doing its thing here. Hopefully it's not on some kind of loop. I don't know. It still looks like it's doing it. It's still, still increasing. Still going up. Still doing its thing. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let you, let you, have fun, for a moment. And in the meantime, let's take a look at something. From Minder I.O., we're not done just yet. I want to make an enchanter. Now, we got an enchanting table where we can't really control our enchants, but we do have an item from Ender.io that allow us to do just that. 
We need some dark steel, though, which is going to require some coal powder, iron, and obsidian. Now, thankfully, we don't need a whole bunch of this stuff because this stuff is a little painful to make because of power currently. So we are going to need a little bit of obsidian. We need a little bit more than that. But that's okay. We can get it. Uh, we're also going to need the coal powder, so let's grab four of those. Four pieces of iron. And let's go ahead and set that up in there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you making? Steel. Great, thanks. Um, totally wanted steel. Totally didn't want something else. Okay. We'll, we'll grab that back in a minute. Pain in my butt sometimes. Pain in my butt. Oh, it's pretty. It's like a... I don't know. It's like a star shower of something. So yeah, here we go. We got our obsidian set up right here. How is our uh, lava production doing anyway? Oh, we're full. Doing good. It's just not producing enough power. Um, One more of those? Maybe two? Two would definitely be fine. Two more of those would just be fine. I don't know if we're producing enough lava for two more, but just saying. All right, so let's put that in there first. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Bloop. There we go. All right, we're going to let that do its thing. We need another book. So, Enchanter. We're also going to need some diamonds, unfortunately. We're going to need two more diamonds. It's not a bad thing. Oh, good, we got the sugar cane we need. All right, my little, my little books. There you are. And let's see how our gravel situation is doing. It's uh, not the greatest in the world, but we could be doing better. Let's try this out on the diamond stiffen mesh. We should have a better chance of getting diamonds off of this. Should. Quote, unquote, should. Please? Pretty please? No diamonds. Well, I got an emerald. Guess I could be happy about that. Okay. Um, take two. Try number two. Ooh, oh, yeah, look at that. See? Ooh, look at those diamonds. Ho, 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 yeah. This is going to be my pride and joy right here. This is this is my pride and joy area. My diamond stiffened meshes. They're going to do so much good for me. It's not even funny. All right, how you doing? See? Yep, you can see. Taking a little while now. <laughs> yeah, gotta sleep through the night so that way we actually can get power transfer over here. But yeah, gonna take a minute. So let's come back over, check out our experience and how it's doing. D did I find a glitch? Well then. I uh, may have found infinite experience. Okay, maybe not. Awesome. Great. Glad it's not an infinite experience. <sighs> not really. <laughs> it would be awesome if it was, a, but eh, it's not. So, 69 levels of experience. We can store all of our XP currently on our player into the experience obelisk, putting us up to 77 levels of experience. We can retrieve all of the levels, 10 or 1 at a time. Really, really neat thing. Nice, like it. So this will be perfect for us setting up our enchanta. So how are we doing over here, buddy? Well, there's our third one. We're still one away. In the meantime, let's clean up the inventory. Let's see, get rid of you, 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 you. You can come down here. Your extra buddy can go in there, and we need a book. There's a book. Last set going through. Ooh. Finally starting to do its thing. Um, let's... Holy crap. We're backed up a little bit, fellas. Well, it's actually not a bad thing, because this being backed up means... We can pull one of those out. <laughs> Put it in here. <laughs> Make this thing work a little bit faster for us. There we go. Um, but that means these things aren't using power, which means um, these are... And we might start seeing an increase back now that we're a little full on sand over there. Nice. All right, so we got the Enchanter. 
Let's take a look at this guy. Place him down right here for now. Not very appropriate place, but uh, it'll work. So if we uh, take a look, it shows us all the recipes for basically making our own enchanted books. If we take a look on here, we have Sieve, Luck of the Sea, which I have found that I don't like. So that's not what I want. <laughs> um, but if we continue looking through, we got the Efficiency, which is Crushed Netherrack. And then this one is Crushed in Stone, which gives us Sieve Fortune. And that's what we're looking for. So now... The question is, how do we get more in stone? Well, that's a pretty, pretty darn good question. Um, um, in stone. All right, we can make it with intermittent essence with stone, but we don't have intermittent essence at the moment. Luckily, we did get some out of a loot bag. But we have this method right here: fluid block transformation, thanks to Ex Nihilo. We're going to use lava buckets in conjunction with glowstone to make us. In stone. Indeed we are. Indeed we are. Alright, so let's grab some glowstone here. We're about to go down. Now all we gotta do is if we do this appropriately, we're gonna pick this guy up. We're gonna get this out of the way. And we're gonna jump on this side for just a minute. We're gonna place that there. We're gonna access this tank here. And we're gonna figure the output over there. So now, this guy full of lava. Alright. If we place that there. Oh, that is wonderful. Look at that. Look at that. Easy, easy in stone. Now, unfortunately, we are going to go through our lava a little bit quicker because of this. But we're getting in stone, man. In stone! Out of all the things, in stone! I don't know how many of these I want. I think I might want 12. We'll start off with 12. And then over time, I may end up increasing our lava production down here. So that way we can actually make more in stone a lot quicker. Because this is going to get us resources a lot faster. And anytime we're in this kind of situation, we kind of want things a lot faster. So if I'm not mistaken, I think we need to crush this. Alright. Bloop. Oh ho ho. And then I believe we will need a book. So let's grab a book. I think we might actually need a feather. And ink sacks. Because I think it has to be a book and quill. I don't think it's a regular book. Yeah. Has to be a book and quill. Now, is there any other... Well, okay, no. No, there's not. Um, there's black dye, black floral powder. And got to get a feather. I wonder if we got lucky out here in our uh, chests from our loot bags. Feathers? Hello? <gasps> Lesser magic bean! I don't know if that's really what I'm looking for, though. Kind of looking for something a little bit more. Whoa, hello! Lexic 340th edition contains one school of knowledge. What is that? Hello? How are you? Brand new Lexica Britannia. 340th edition. I don't know if that's anything different or special. I think that might just be this version. Um, but we haven't got into Britannia yet. Something I would like to work into very soon. And piggyback upgrade render from quantum storage? Well, that's cool. I don't know what kind of loot bag that was that just got put into the uh, chest here, but that was a really nice loot bag. Uh, we do have some eggs. Mm, we need to get some chickens going. Let's do that. Let's get some Mr. Jenkins in the house in our skies of Bentley. Let's do it. We're going to need some seeds. So thankfully, we've already been uh, going and growing our wheat and everything. We're going to make us some chicken bait. Just a little bit. Maybe four of them. Should be fine. And maybe some fences. Now, we got a bunch of different types of fences. I would love to use some some of the beautiful wood, but unfortunately, I don't think I can. Diagonal fence? <gasps> what? That sounds amazing. I kind of want to do it. I'm going to throw this out there. Kind of want to. 
Shall I make some diagonal oak fences? <laughs> yeah, totally doing it. All right, we're just gonna make a few sets. We're not gonna use like a whole bunch of them, but we're gonna do a few. All right, let's grab some fences. That should be good. Running a little bit low on wood. I need to do some uh, some work. So this is actually going to be the normal platform for my home, which I planned on starting relatively soon. But for now, we're going to make it into a brand new Jenkins home. Whoa, you're not doing what I thought you would do. What? You're not very diagonal. What is this madness? Oh, you were not diagonal. You're not diagonal at all. Well, what a waste of fences. Unless I'm doing it wrong. Well, that's, that, that would, that's diagonal, right? Oh, that is just a pain in the butt. I don't know. Gotta be doing something wrong. I don't know. Let me know, guys, if I'm doing something completely wrong there. But, uh, yeah. That that seems a little strange. So we're just gonna set up a small little pin in the meantime for our Mr. Jenkins. We're gonna do chicken bait. There's no water in this area. <laughs> Didn't know Mr. Jenkins was so picky. Fine. Have some water right there. There's no water in this area. You're a liar. There's water right there. Fine. You guys can have it right there. That's all you get, though. Now, if I'm not mistaken, these are not going to work being too close. Whoa. There's too many baits in this area. Way too suspicious. Indeed. So it looks like you break them. Okay, good. There they are. So we're going to walk away. We're going to let them do their thing. And, uh... That's a, that's a new interesting color. What? <gasps> Baby Jenkins! Baby Jenkins! Hello, little fella. How are you? Don't mind me. I'm just going to put another little thing there for you. I need feathers soon, by the way. So if you could poop some out, it'd be great. It'd be super... Well, if that's... That's kind of trippy. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's not let's not keep looking at that. So yeah, power problems definitely an issue. Need to look at fixing that very soon, it looks like. Did, <gasps> it pooped another Jenkins. <laughs> Mr. Jenkins! Hello, Mr. Jenkins. I've missed ya. Now I need you to poop me some feathers. You're gonna be my feather maker. Okay, yeah, we need to fix this problem. Like, now. Alright, what do we need for another lava gen? Let's just fix that really quick. Holy crap. That's a problem. Block of redstone. You crazy. You crazy, I say. Well, what I can do is I could knock this down into dust and get me a whole bunch of redstone. And I think I'll probably wind up doing that. I'm going to go ahead and go through and do everything we need. Oh, man, look at that. Getting chicken super easy. We just need more land. So another thing I need to do is I have a ton of leaves that I've been storing up inside of our storage here. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do the enchanting thing. Totally forgot about the feathers and stuff, but whatever. Let's go ahead and do something. Is it really raining? Sweet. I mean, see, these things are going to produce a lot more power, but... Yeah, still not enough, so... Goodbye, rain. Um, I need some dirt. We need to make some... Barrels. We need to make some of these wooden barrels here. Are we really... Oh, good. Thought I was almost out there for a minute. Bloop, bloop, bloop. There we go. Let's try that one more time. Some wooden barrels. Let's go ahead and start off with eight of these guys. And if I'm not mistaken, on at refined storage, if we find an exporter, can I make one of those? What do you need? Construction core, basic processor. I don't even have that. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I do not want to go through and do all that. All right. 
that's fine. We'll make this easy anyway, because we don't want to store the leaves inside of our storage anyway. It's kind of a waste of space. So let's go ahead and do something a little different. Let's do another drawer. Another basic drawer for your basic needs. Bloop, bloop. Make this easy. There we go. Cool. All right, so we got our basic drawer. We're going to need some item conduits and or transfer nodes. Take your preference. I'm going to go and just make up a few more of these. So, pulsating iron. Bloop. Bloop. Should be enough right there. And we're going to set up this system just down here for now. Because really no reason to have it anywhere else. Probably going to wind up moving it anyway. Alright, so we'll start off there. And there. There we go. Do, 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 there we go. We're going to set all of these to insert. All of them to insert. Insert and... Whoa! What was that? I think I misclicked or something there. Alright, so all of them are set to insert. We're going to set up a drawer. We'll put it right here. You know it would be wonderful? If you'd face the way that I was, like, at, instead of being a butt, it'd be great. Just do it this way. There we go. All right, and we're going to have this set to always active, export, or extract. Now, underneath these guys, we're going to need to get under, do a little bit of uh, underneath work. Really need to upgrade these tools. Really, really need to upgrade them. It's taking forever. There we go. Alright, and then item conduits on the bottom. I'm gonna try to squeeze these in there. There we go. Guess we can do it on this side. Now getting underneath is gonna be a little bit of a pain in the butt. But we'll get it working. Don't you worry. So this is kind of like a basic setup to kind of get your own dirt set up. And uh, we'll go ahead and make ourselves one more drawer for our dirt. Because we're going to need a lot of dirt to start setting up our area for our home. And maybe a bucket of water. Because this is going to be the tricky part. Do we have any building supplies besides that? Oh, hey, look. What do you know? Cobblestone, which we can fix this in just a minute, but we're going to get this set up, and we're going to make it look good. Okay, didn't want you to place there, buddy. There you go. Now you're doing it right. All right go down a little bit. All right, we're going to build a small platform right there, so the way we can set this up. Okay, we should be able to have access to all of these, so... All we gotta do is now just start setting these to extract always active. So thankfully it's only a one button click. There we go. Alright, we can get up off of this thing without dying, hopefully. And we can get rid of that. Nice. All right, last but not least, we're going to clear this off, and we're going to place a drawer right there. Come to the back side of this, and we're going to set this to insert. All right, and with all that being said and done, guys, I think that is going to be it for the episode. So, yeah, getting a little bit of stutter. I'm assuming it's got to do with the water draining down, but uh, I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. Let's go ahead and clean this up, make this look nice, and start pulling out the leaves. So yeah, I'm going to pull... Actually, it'd probably be easier just to do it this way. Another reason why I kind of like this system. Very nice and clean. There we go. So we can see all of the leaves are kind of starting to make their way into all of our barrels. And they're going to start composting us up into some dirt. Wonderful. Gotta love it. So with that being said, guys... I'm going to go ahead and end it off for today. I want to say thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. 
you guys hit that like button, I'd greatly appreciate it, and it does help me out. It lets me know you guys are still enjoying the series, and we'll see you guys soonish. Until then, goodbye.